Now, it's the question comes, you know, Bruce, we, we love the sound of all that, uh, but man, how do we get past that price? I mean, is there any alternatives out there? And you know there are. There are alternatives to Exchange Server. And the one I'm going to talk about uh, today is a company that makes a product called Kerio, K-E-R-I-O. They make it, I, I don't want to use the word exchange clone. Um, they, they've done a very, very nice job with Kerio making it, number one, multi-platform capable. So it works very nicely with Windows it, and Outlook. There's a connector for Outlook. And uh, by the way, Outlook will think it's talking to an Exchange server. There's a, uh, uh, it works nicely with the Mac. So if you're using Address Book, iCal, uh, uh, and a Apple Mail, it works very nicely with that. It works very nicely with uh, Thunderbird and works nicely with Linux. So it's kind of a cross platform application that replicates many, many of the features that Exchange has to offer. So, uh, number one, it's, uh, it'll run on uh, Windows. You can install it on Red Hat, Linux, uh, SUSE, uh, the Mac, Mac OS X. It'll, you can actually install the server on any of those. Uh, you don't necessarily need a Windows uh, server. You can install it on a XP machine. You can install it on a Windows Server 2003, Vista, uh, either server or non-server editions. Um, there's a Outlook connector so that Outlook thinks it's running an Exchange server. That all comes with it. Um, there's a really great administrative tools on there. You can have your distribution groups, everything like you would have with Exchange. And it comes with mobile email and it supports natively uh, pushing email to the Palm Trio, uh, Windows Mobile, uh, and Blackberry smartphones. So you have all of that as well. Uh, there's built-in antivirus protection into this thing. I think uh, you can use, uh, I think you can get Avast, AVG, all that sort of thing with Karyo. It's got, uses Spam Assassin for uh, spam uh, detecting and, and catching spam, which is an excellent, excellent open source uh, spam application. Uh, it has your built-in uh, calendaring, group calendaring, collaboration tools, so it'll work very nicely with Outlook. Um, uh, Microsoft Entourage for the Mac, um, uh, iCal, all those things that it'll work really, really nice with, as well as it has its own webmail client. Um, Karyo is quite a bit less money. Um, a 10 user version with one year of Kaspersky uh, antivirus protection is like 599 bucks. Uh, without the Kaspersky, it's $4.99 for, for that in 10 years. And you compare that to uh, $500 compared to $1,400. You know, it's a huge, huge savings. And you're getting um, pretty much a, 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 a clone of exchange. Uh, done a lot of research on Karyo. We don't use it here. Again, I use exchange. But uh, they just released on October the 21st the uh, uh, version 6.6, .6, and I'm reading a lot of good, good things about Karyo. And I think if you're looking into an email server, if you're not starting out with small business server, okay, and you're looking, getting that first server, maybe you're going to put in a Windows 2008 server with Active Directory and all that, Consider and test Karyo before you commit to Exchange. You may find that will be just fine. Now, if you're in a in a in a multi-platform office, you're running Macs, PCs. I really think at this point Karyo is pretty much a no-brainer. 